For today's video, we are going to be shooting the Norma Whitetail Ammunition in 6.5 Creedmoor. First gel block we'll shoot reduced loads into, simulating longer range. Flip blocks into a higher velocity load. probably opened up a little because you got your multi-directional turning well penetrating all the way through both blocks looks like it opened up a little bit at about the three-eighths of an inch mark carrying that better portion of its permanent wound cavity to ten and seven-eighths tapering down carrying some permanent wound cavity past the 27 inch mark and then it exited the gel so we'll bump one up a little bit hotter here and shoot that block again going 1,667 feet per second. We were moving fast enough to get it to open up and stop there. It actually tumbled at some point. It was right in between the two gel blocks. There is no lead core. I do not see for sure. Ah, oh, that lead core exited out the back side of the block. camera over here to show that where we have it opening up at approximately three quarters of an inch carrying your better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the inch and five eighths mark to we're going to call it the 11 inch mark then you have the jack that goes one way carrying permanent wound cavity and the lead core coming out the side here exiting the jail at 17 and a quarter inches with the larger portion of that guy's permanent wound cavity being three inches. That one was going 1,780 feet per second.
got that guy opening up almost instantaneously, carrying the better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the one inch mark to the 11 inch mark, still carrying some decent permanent wound cavity to about the 15 inch mark where it seems to have pin lined. And then the leading edge of that bullet is 26 and a half inches. Larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is four inches. Overall, I'd have to say that's a pretty good performing bullet. We got an error reading on the chronograph. So I'm just gonna move the chronograph off to the side, shoot a couple more factory loads through them and give an average. Got another air reading, so I'm going to swap out my battery quick on the chronograph. Try moving the chronograph into a sunnier spot, see if we can get a reading.
just needed to get a little more light cast on it. We are at 2716. I'm going to save the rest of those for uh, another day when the sun's shining better. And I can do an overview on the bullets and an accuracy test on them. Hope you guys enjoy the video.